What up guys, Shadow here, and today you join me on 3ds Max, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial just in start basics on um, 3ds Max. So when you open 3ds Max, firstly, when you first open it, you'll get uh, bombarded with all these tutorial windows and stuff. Just basically just close them, because um, they're not really needed, because you're going to be following my tutorial, aren't you? Um, so, we, when you first actually open 3ds Max, we're going to be... Um, greeted with four different viewports. You can use these viewports for cameras, um, perspective view, different views. Basically these are what you will see your model through. There's also um, wireframe which will only show the wires that make up your shape um, or realistic which will show the faces and so on. And um, then you can have um, realistic with edge faces which I have in my perspective view at the moment because that's what I normally work in but there is certain things you would do in front, left, top and so on if you're saying align something on a model. But I'll go into more detail on that when I'm actually going to be making models in 3ds Max for them, these tutorials. But the first thing I'm going to be going over is how to um, maximize a viewport um, on 3ds Max. So if you wanted to say make your perspective view to be the whole screen instead of having all four, you could either go down to here where it says um, maximize toggle viewport, or you can click it and it'll make so maximize it, minimize it, maximize, minimize. It does the same on any of these. But I prefer using the shortcuts, which is Alt and W. Um, so that's using Alt and W and then say we wanted to make a magical box so we're going to go to our create tab which is the first tab here we go into geometry we go into standard primitives and we just click on the box um, tab then we're left with this little cursor now how this is going to work is you're going to make a base um, cube or rectangle and then you'll bring a top up to a certain height but don't worry if you um, don't get the right shape that you want first because you will be um, able to change it in the parameters window here or if you just want to literally do it all through parameters you could do say for example 50 by 50 by 50 but then you would have to choose where you want that as you know that doesn't work okay I thought that would but okay um, anyway we can change it in the parameters anyway so let's make a uh, shape here so we have our we have our box here and at the moment it's 20 and a bit and 20 and a bit and 23 and a bit but I want this box to be 50 by 50 by 50 so here we go, uh, we have 50 by 50 by 50, but we cannot see the whole thing, can we? So, you are going to need a mouse with a uh, scroll wheel click to actually be able to work in 3ds Max. Um, so, say we want to move this down, well, move our viewport up so we can see the top of the box. We're going to hit our middle scroll wheel and we're just going to drag up till we can see everything we want. But we're going to have to mess around with this actually where it is in position in 3D space anyway. Um, and also say I wanted to rotate something so I can see the other side of it for example um, I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and then hold down my scroll wheel click and I can rotate around up and down also if you do not want to use that because some people have preferences or don't want to actually use that you can go up to here which is this little box and you can set it to be um, however you want so say for example I wanted to move it to the top view I'll just do this. I'm just going to move it onto move so I don't make another box. Um, that will drag us on to actually moving this box into the correct location because at the moment we're at x of 0.41, y of uh, 10, 3, 3, 7 and z is correct. But we want this box dead center in our room. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, we're going to highlight our x coordinate, we're going to set it to 0, then we're going to hit tab which will move us onto the y coordinate and then we're going to also set that to 0. So we now have our box in the center of 3D space. Now I'm going to quickly just go over the, um, I've gone over slightly about the movement tools but say you wanted to, um, this little thing here, this uh, red, green and red thing is called our widget, I'll refer to it as a widget um, in the future videos. But um, say I wanted to just move it and lock it into the x axis of moving. Um, I can just click on the x-axis and move my mouse in any way. It would be the same if I wanted to do in the y-axis or if I wanted to in the z-axis. be the same. So I'm just going to set this back to 0, 0, 0 because for this I'm going to... We're, you're always going to want to have anything you make in 3ds Max as 0, 0, 0 because then when you actually put it into a game engine um, you'll, you won't have... To, do some coding tweaks to pull it into the center. It's just better. It's just bad practice. Also, if this was going to be, I don't know, um, amazing box thing. There we go. 
Um, I make sure you actually name your model. So what is it going to be? I don't actually know what this model is going to be. So it's an amazing box thing. Um, I'm also going to quickly go over uh, the rotation tool, which is a similar kind of thing, but you rotate it instead of moving it. So you have the same idea of if you only wanted it to move it in one axis, you would go and click on that, and then you can move it around and round and round and round and round. And the same here. And the same here. So on. But it, so you wanted to move it in two axes. Axes? Axes. Axes. Now, I don't really do this because I prefer to work with um, only one. But if I'll do this in moving, it is the same in scaling and rotation. Um, so I wanted to move it in X and Y. Um, so I could just click this corner of this box here and it will select both and I can move it x and y um, if I wanted to do it x and z for example I can move it like that um, and you see it won't actually it may look like it's not gonna let me but it won't it will stay at y0 if you look at the uh, if you look down here it will actually stay at the zero coordinate of y well now it's not uh, and then the same and then we do the same there but now we actually have floating bots, so let's reset it once again. And now the last tool here, I'm just going to go over is the scale tool. Um, the same thing happens, you can scale it up and down in X and Y, scale our box. Um, if we wanted to scale all of it, we can just do that. Um, we could just choose all of the axes and we can drag up and down to make it bigger or smaller and however we want. Um, this will come into more importance when we actually start actually modeling a actual thing now the only difference is when you change the parameters here this is actually what the size is and then you we change the scale here so if you want to reset a shape to how the it is in the parameters you can literally just reset it to 100 and it will reset your box for you so i hope this tutorial helped you out guys and remember if you did please hit that like and that favorite button and let me know what you want me to do the next episode about, um, or on, or what you want to make, or if you have any ideas for this series. Because I do actually want to do quite a lot of tutorials on previous maps, because I am doing a college, and I wanted to pass that information on to you guys. So, I have more competition, um, basically, in the workplace. So, I hope you guys enjoy this once again, and I'll see you guys next time, where we'll be doing some more cool modelling skills in 3ds Max.